Hey guys, what's happened? It's Thantos here again. We're back for some more Star Trek Online, and dear God, has it been a, a bit. Well, new featured episode came out, and as usual, gonna do a blind playthrough. Came out on Tuesday, it's the mon following Monday. Dear God, I have been t exhausted from work. But, hey, that's no longer a problem, because I'm technically unemployed. I'm still on the park's payroll, but the season's over. So, let's get started with today's featured episode, Beyond the Nexus. The Alliance sending you to aid a legendary Starfleet Captain Jordy LaForge, voiced by none other than LeVar Burton himself. We recently received a distress signal from the USS Forrestal, a ship we thought was lost in the Nexus back in 2332. We sent the USS Madison out to investigate. But they haven't checked in for some time. Considering the Nexus is involved, they could be in trouble. The Madison's last known position was in the Rotenev system. Meet with the USS Challenger there to investigate the situation. Her captain has some experience with the Nexus. Alrighty, we're going to accept. Let's see the mission rewards. XP, Dilithium, Reinforced, Armaments, Power Trans... Not bad. Eh. Ugh, Troy Cobalt. Those are not worth it. However, that might be. Alright, let's get going. And because I'm extremely lazy. Hi, Martok. Alrighty. <coughs> Sorry about the random coughings. I still have a bit of a something in my throat. Let's begin. Now, as is everything, this is a blind playthrough, so I have no idea what's going on. Good to see you again. Looks like the two missing ships are here, although they're both in a disabled state. Neither of them have responded to our hails. Okay. That's entirely possible. Even minimal exposure to the Nexus can be pretty disruptive to ship systems. I think we should take a closer look. Things could be worse than our initial scans have indicated. Okay. Out of force of habit, we should deploy my fighters. Those of you who know, I got a new ship. I got my tier 6 Vesta. I don't remember the Nexus. Well, in the movies, yeah. On our way. Something's not right here. I worked on the Nexus Defense Screens project, and a catastrophic failure like that seems unlikely. In an overload situation like she described, the ship wouldn't be disabled, it'd be destroyed. Let's go take a look. Well, that's a galaxy on the left. Those both look like galaxies. Yeah. So that's definitely the outline of a galaxy, and that looks like a galaxy, the Forestall, from the side. It could be an ambassador, but the Madison's definitely a galaxy. And it looks like the Forestall's a galaxy as well. Scene. Something ain't right here. Whatever they fired just disrupted most of our system. Okay, the forest is an ambassador, an enterprise C level clap ship. Okay, you done fucked up. Whatever it was, it knocked most of our systems out. We're running on emergency 
power. I think we'd better get over there and find out what's going on while we still have a functioning ship between us. Meet me at these coordinates on deck 10. Okay. Yeah, we'll take the trail. So it's not a full combat mission. Otherwise, I'd have to pull away team. Looks like someone activated the security system on this deck. Fortunately, I know a thing or two about that system. The console here is offline, but there should be a functional one nearby in the holodeck. From there, we can access the system and shut the fields down. Okay. This holodeck's damaged. Let's try the next one. This is not a galaxy corridor. Let's get to work. With luck, we should be able to bypass the system and drop those... Wait, someone's loading up a holodeck program in here, and I've got a feeling it's not for R&R. &R. Activating program Barclay 42 Epsilon. Safety protocols are disengaged. Please, help us. The Borg are everywhere. Oh, fine. Safety protocols disengaged. Survive the battle to leave. Last wave, unless they change the program. The thing I like about these melee weapons is the boar can't adapt because it's kinetic damage. At least I hope they can't adapt because I don't have my, uh, what you call it on? Your modulator. Program. That's definitely a red Barkley program. Let's get back to business. We'd better bypass security before they send more sparring partners to deal with. Oh. Took me a second to uh, figure that out. Was not expecting the uh, Dilithium minigame. That's good. This is Commander Jabai. Please record. I repeat, if you can hear this, come to tent forward at once. There's our defenses just dropped. We require your attention. They are closing on us. Hurry. It won't be long before they attack. Who? Someone's jamming that signal. We'd better get to ten four. Let's do it. Yeah, this is some serious battle damage. Random scarring. Yeah, this is a... Yeah, there was a gunfight in here. Thank you for coming. The Madison has been taken over by hostile forces, and we are in dire need of assistance. What happened? We responded to a distress call from USS Forestal. Long thought lost to the Nexus. As we closed to assist, the Madison was struck by a potent beam of psionic energy. It disabled the ship and left us vulnerable to attack. Mind-controlled members of the Forestal's crew then beamed over and took control of this vessel. We few are all that remain free. Who or what is behind this? An alien of tremendous psionic ability, formerly trapped within the Nexus. 
We believe it lured the Forestall there in an escape attempt, which failed. Somehow, it was able to break free when the Nexus recently returned. Though powerful, there are limits to the alien's ability. The combat with your ship has weakened it considerably. Now is the time to strike. The controlled crew are bound to attack again soon. Picking up transporter signals, multiple contacts. We've got incoming. Enemy contacts inbound. Yep, this is definitely, um, I just missed what he said. Ooh, hey, the bartender. Oh, am I glad to see you. Things were looking more than a little ugly until you got here. I'd pour you a drink, but all of the replicators went offline an hour ago. Yeah, she's an uncompan. As good as can be, under the circumstances. Still amazed we haven't been, um, dominated. The commander thinks it's because we all come from a species with psionic abilities. As good a reason as any, I suppose. S sensible theory. Ensign Rana, engineering. Sorry for staring, Captain LaForge. Your work on transwarp theory was required reading at the Academy. Never thought I'd actually meet you. I wish it were under different circumstances. Report, Ensign. Right. Well, they, they hit main engineering first. If you're going down there, be on your guard. Several of us tried to take it back a couple of days ago. They beamed in and took us by surprise. I was the only one to make it back here. Well, don't let it wear you down. Ensign? Ensign Saital, security. Your arrival is most fortuitous. Our numbers have dwindled considerably since the enemy's initial assault. Until your arrival, I calculated our odds of survival at 4,286 to 1. How about now? Difficult to fully assess at this juncture. However, I am willing to state that our odds have improved considerably. If all of you were psionics, our odds would be even better. The alien is quite ineffective against those with mental abilities. Hmm, I see. Okay, Jordy, what you got? I have a feeling these attacks will intensify as the alien gains strength. If we're going to do something to save this ship, we'll need to do it fast. Let's get down to main engineering. I think we can get a better grip on the security system there and use it to incapacitate both the hostile crew and the alien. Sounds like a plan. Take these psionic inhibitors with you. We hope to use them on some of our dominated crewmates prior to your arrival. But I suspect they will serve you better at this time. They should protect you if the alien attempts to take control of your minds. Thank you. All right, engineering. I should check. Nope, no anomalies. As with that, Lieutenant Paul Reed. Commander Misha Panov. I probably butchered that. Okay, turbo left. To engineering. Engineering support. Hello. I get all oh, engineering kit. Watch it. They're beating in reinforcements. And another cell in the lockbox.
You know what? Screw this. I just revived you! Okay. Did I say you could run away from me? to pass out this time. <coughs> oh hey, another solar lockbox. Main power's offline and there's a lot of nexus radiation getting past the screens. I'll handle the power situation while you deal with the radiation. Once that's done, we can bring the security systems back online. Sounds good. Okay, I gotta see. I've always wondered what's back here. Always, that's always bothered me and, and next gen is they never showed what was back there. Nice work. Radiation levels are back in the safe zone, and I've managed to prime the warp core. Give me a hand with it, and we can restore main power. Okay. That did it. Main power's back on. I've activated most of the security systems, but it looks like the bridge is still under enemy control. Good bet. That's where the alien is. Well, let's go take it back. I guess we're gonna have to go to this turbo lift. Yeah. To the bridge. Cutscene! Starfleet disagrees with you on that. No words mean nothing. Kill them. Kill them now. We are here to assist you. Solar what to handle them. Bonk, bonk, bonk. He fights like an undang. With his attack, yeah, he fights like an undang. Challenger might be able to fight, but most of this ship's crew is unconscious. Beam back to your ship and deal with the Forestall. I'll do what I can here to get the shields up and keep the Madison in one piece. Sounds like a plan. And I am not holding that gun, that cannon correctly. I just noticed that. Man, 
Dude, stand down. It just released a ship. Pretty one-sided fight here. Then again, if I was playing on a higher difficulty, this might be a bit troublesome. Answer hail. No. You made the right choice. Uh, let's turn that off. Nicely done. I was able to get a call into Starfleet. We should have backup here soon. In the meantime, I'll keep working with the crews of the disabled ships. We'll have them up and running again in no time. Glad to hear it. Saved a lot of lives here today. Showed mercy to someone who wasn't inclined to return the favor. That goes a long way. Thank you, Jordy. Once we're done here, we'll go back to working with the Vukari on a big project. I've enjoyed seeing their protomatter technology firsthand. Hopefully, we won't run into any Zenkethi trouble while we're out there. I'd rather not see their protomatter weapon in action if I can avoid it. Likewise, Jordy. Okay. And that was Beyond the Nexus. Pretty short mission. Interesting. No Easter eggs that I found. Again, then that doesn't mean there aren't any. So yeah, let's turn this in. Um, there we go. In progress. Hail Starfleet. Interesting report. This alien was trapped for eons in the Nexus and wanted to leave. As I understand it, the Nexus is a paradise. Apparently, there's at least one life form out there who disagrees. Fortunately, you saved a lot of lives and three Starfleet vessels. Captain LaForge tells me they'll spend some time in space dock, but they'll be ready for duty again soon. We can use all the ships we can get on the frontier these days. Well done. Thank you. Okay, well, let's take our, uh, console. Alrighty. What is that? Yeah. Oh. Um, since I don't need specialization points anymore, because I've hit cap, what is that? Oh, that's the console. Let's take a look at this. Details. Okay, there we go. 5% speed. Firing speed increase, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Huh. Well, that being said, I'm Thanatos. This has been Beyond the Nexus. Short, sweet mission. Till then, peace out, guys. Catch you next time.